Hey guys, Ryan here for Bender Wins. Hope everyone's doing well today. Here with your daily free picks. All right guys, so I have three plays for you guys today. All in baseball. I have two underdogs, one favorite for you guys. Um, yesterday, quick recap. All right, we went one and two yesterday, guys. Uh, lost our baseball play. We took a split, went one and one in college football. Um, overall for the day, master class finishing down about 2.3 units. So uh, certainly not the day we want, especially after the, the previous two days. We did give a little bit back yesterday. Um, yesterday, guys, look, I, I rode one system where I cherry-picked very specific games, and we hit a lot of overs yesterday, and yesterday was not a good day to take a lot of overs. And if you guys have been watching for a long time, you know that um, I take a hell of a lot more unders than I do overs, but I, I really felt like I had a good edge yesterday, and I'll share that with you uh, a little bit. I'm not going to share the exact system I use because we'll continue to you know, to utilize this in some certain spots. But um, suffice it to say, guys, it has to do with heat, uh, temperature, humidity, wind conditions. Um, and from that, basically handpicking the exact games that we want. And early on in the season, guys, it's important because conditioning, conditioning is not always up to par, okay? And obviously, you know, with, with certain programs, they're going to have these guys well conditioned and with other programs, not so much. And who does the conditioning really ultimately affect the most? The defense. Okay. Um, in this, in these hot, humid days. Okay. And the wind is important too, because we want, you know, lower wind speeds for obviously for passing games, field goals, even though the wind didn't seem to affect the field goals, it was just terrible field goal kickers that affected the field goals yesterday. Um, but I felt, you know, we had a very good edge on that. And it just, it didn't pan out. I mean, we, we managed to pick up a couple. We, um, you know, baseball, we picked up a little bit there. Um, we did, we have UCLA yesterday, but the total systems just weren't on for us. So like I said, guys, one and two in free picks, uh, lost just over a couple units in master class. And to be honest, yesterday, it was disappointing. Um, and I know it's, it's the first weekend of football and we've actually done well up to this in football, just, you know, picking games here and there. And, and we've done really well with it, with college football so far. But I think the major disappointment, I said this to a couple of people, like the disappointment guys is, um, I, I really wouldn't imagine that people have that great an idea how much goes in to college football. You're basically relearning teams year in and year out, recreating your power rankings. And, you know, if, if you start relying on like the media and you start getting lazy and you start just like, oh, yeah, OK, you know, this team, you know, whatever AP says, they're ranked at this. If you just if you go by that stuff, then like, what's the point of, of what we're doing here? Right. We're trying to find an edge. We're trying to find. I mean, if you just blindly follow that. So you have to do it all yourself. And, you know, it's it's not. You know, it, it's not weeks. I mean, we're talking months of like preparation and stuff and the same thing. But you know what? I will say this on a positive note. So it's disappointing to start off your first full day like that when I really felt like I found myself a really nice edge here. Um, but even with that disappointment of day one, and despite the fact we, we have been doing well in college football, the bright side is I feel like I know these teams well. I know these teams very well, and I think that's going to bode well for, for this season. So we shall see. I, I am ready for college football and NFL. Let me put it that way. I am ready for I am ready for the foosball. All right. Um, back to today, guys. Uh, like I said, today I have three free picks for you guys. I have um, six plays in uh, – six more baseball plays in master class. I have one CFL play, and then I have a play – and the Notre Dame, Florida game as well. If you guys are interested in Masterclass, BenderWins.com, guys, it is $99 a month. Gets you my full card every single day, plus all the Masterclass educational videos. And tomorrow, guys, more than likely, I'm pretty sure tomorrow, tomorrow is going to be the, de the absolute deadline for registering uh, for the Bender Wins NFL Capping Championship, guys. So if you're interested in that, join Masterclass and... Um, yeah, it'll be the deadline to join Masterclass to be able to get into that contest. The only way, guys, there's a very slight possibility um, that I might just send out picks via email tomorrow, in which case I'll just extend the deadline one day. But um, yeah, sure. more than likely tomorrow will be the deadline. All right, so without further ado, let's get cracking. All right, we are going to start off, guys, and all three in baseball. 
We're going to start off with San Diego minus 105. San Diego minus 105. They've drifted from plus money on the plus side. Small, I think, plus 105, plus 102 range. I did manage to grab them plus 102. Unfortunately, the second I grabbed them, right over to plus money. Um, but I still think there's good value here at plus money. Okay. Uh, or sorry, at minus money. Uh, so San Diego minus 105. There's three steam and reverse line moves. One of those steam bets is mine, guys. Uh, three steam and reverse line moves. Nice money distribution. 28% of bets, 35% of money. Now, I will expect that to change a little bit. But right now, at 28% and 35%, it's contrarian. And it fits well within our 7 to 21% difference between bets and percentage of money. And we always want to see more money bet than bets because that is an indication that the that the bets coming in are larger in size and it's a typical good indication of sharp money. Now I also have two system indicators on this guys. So I like San Diego to win this game, um, minus 105 San Diego. Next guys, uh, we are going to take Washington plus 118. So Washington plus 118. Um, Five steam and reverse line moves on this game. Uh, wonky little money distribution again, which I believe will change, but it's very, very indicative of the sharp money that's come in on this. 25% of bets, 59% of money. Okay, 25% of bets, 59% of money. Uh, there's three, or sorry, pardon me, there's only there's two system indicators on this game. Josiah Gray for Washington, guys, he got lit up last game. I watched that entire Philadelphia game and he got lit up. Um, but he's been very, very consistent this year, guys. And I really look for him to bounce back here. Um, so we're going to take Washington plus 118. Um, yeah, Washington plus 118. All right, next, guys. Um, we are going to take Tampa Bay minus 195. Okay, Tampa Bay minus 195. Tampa Bay exploded yesterday, guys, in an absolute home run fest. Um, we've taken Tampa Bay the last two days in this series and um yeah we took them yesterday and i'm pretty sure we took them day before or, yes we did so we're riding them once again for a third time guys look just top to bottom they are a better team okay especially at home the better pitching matchup here they're hitting the lights of their number one hitting team in the league so you know that doesn't hurt um but you know, the way they're hitting the ball right now, especially guys, six home runs in the first five innings yesterday for Tampa Bay. It was like one after another. And it's funny because like I started to look at game I, whenever I, you know, whenever I have a game that I lose, I always like try to understand why. And I was starting to look at this pattern that we keep giving up a lot more home runs than we're getting. I'm just trying to understand, you know, that we've still, we've still been winning. We're all, we're close, we're up almost close to 30 units now in baseball this year, which is awesome. But I'm trying to understand you know, why are we at a deficiency for home runs that we're generating versus them? And Tampa Bay kind of, I guess, evened that up a little bit yesterday. But um, Tampa Bay, look, I, I don't think they're going to be hitting six home runs today. Okay? Tampa Bay is not an easy park to hit home runs in compared to some of the other ones out there. But they are seeing the ball well, guys. Better pitching, better hitting, better team, better everything. Minus 195 is good value, guys. It should be in the mid two. So um, that's what we're going to do. We went a half unit yesterday on Tampa. We went a full unit the day before. And then we're back to a full unit again because I think it's a decent full unit value game. Um, Tampa Bay minus 195. All right, guys, that is it for us today. Again, if you're interested in Masterclass, BenderWins.com, guys. It is $99 for the entire month. It's going to get you all my full card every day, baseball, CFL, um, NFL, we have that coming up, right? Um, NCAA, you name it, as well as, again, uh, the entry into the contest and all the educational materials as well, okay? BenderWins.com, yada, yada, yada. Thank you guys very much. I really appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys. And as always, have a very lucky day.